This is the moment a nine-year-old boy showed flaws in a government plan to build a high-speed rail link between London, the Midlands and the north of England. Alex Rukin, who has now become the youngest person ever to appear before Parliament, told the HS2 Hybrid Bill Committee that their costings were wrong and even offered to help them with their maths. Uh, Alex, can you read out what you said about the costs of HS2, please? Because the HS2 people are really, really bad at maths and make Math. things yeah. up that aren't true, I am worried that HS2 That's will fine. cost more than they say. OK, and you offered to help them with your maths, didn't they? Yes. OK. Are you good at maths? I got 93% in my last maths test. I was top of the class and three quarters of my class is the year above. Great. Right, we're going to help with the maths now. In the response to you, HS2 Limited say the government has said an overall funding envelope of 21.4 billion in 2011 prices. And this total includes 14.4 billion of contingency, which will reduce as the actual date of construction nears. Now, if the official cost of phase one without contingency is 15.7 uh, billion, so Alex, what is 21.4 minus 14.4? 7 billion pounds. Okay, so that's not 15.7 billion pounds? No. No. Okay, so just to recap, in response to a nine year old who said that HS2 Limited weren't good at maths, HS2 Limited have sent in costs back which are 8.7 billion pounds out. But Alex, what do you think about that? That they really, really need my help at maths. In his petition, he also said the HS2 link is a stupid idea and will have a negative impact on the local environment.